Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy X-Ray, or Razix, back with another video. And in today's video, we will be discussing why the TAC shotgun is, in fact, the best shotgun in Fortnite. But, before we get into that, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, the little bell icon, and share the channel with your friends and family, since we are doing a giveaway and face reveal at 1,000 subscribers. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So the reason the attack shotgun is the best shotgun in Fortnite is that unlike the heavy shotgun or especially the pump, you don't need a secondary weapon like an SMG or an auto AR to pair it with. With the pump, if you don't have a secondary pairing, it almost assures your death unless you hit perfect headshots the whole game. While with the TAC shotgun, it is very easy to pick up many kills without the need of an SMG since its fire rate is 0.74. You can run heavy AR, TAC shotgun, and sniper, and the rest heals and you won't have a problem. But if you try to do that with the pump, whenever you run into someone with pump SMG or pump deagle, something like that, they will most likely kill you unless you hit perfect headshots. To follow up, the TAC does a good amount of damage. If you pick up the blue one, especially gray tack, you know, it doesn't even count as a shot. And combined with its fire rate, even if the other person has a pump and they miss some pellets, like if they don't perfectly hit you in the head for 200, you are still going to kill them. Nextly, the tack has 8 shots in it, which is 3 more than the pump since the pump has 5, which makes it better for taking out squads, duos, or even in solos where multiple people are attacking you. Also, it, when you don't have time to be wasting on reloading, like let's say you're in Tilted Towers or any other hot drop and you don't have the time, 8 shots, especially with that quick fire rate and the good amount of damage it's going to have, is going to murder people. Proof of what I'm saying can be seen with the liquid guys and the phase guys starting to try out the tacks even in scrim situations and giving them more of a chance and seeing how good it actually is. In the next couple of months you guys are going to see what I'm saying in this video transpire into the truth where the tack shock is going to be being used way more widespread, way more mainstream by pro players so usage rates going to be going up. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share this channel with your friends and family, and make sure to subscribe if you are new. We are on the road to 1k with a giveaway at 1k subscribers plus a face review. I'm going to let the rest of this gameplay play out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.